night and the winter how cold Sorry that I fall away sometimes Sorry that I fall away sometimes Yeah, yeah The end Got to end it all on the weekend Sorry that I feel that way sometimes Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so finally the official build of lineage os 19 android 12 l has been released by the lineage os team as you all knows that lineage os is the best rom for the most of the custom roms it's a trustable source of the best performing stable less bug and the regular supporting custom rom in the world of the roms actually after the stock rom most of the people prefer the lineage os as a second choice so today in this video we will see how to install this rom what are the feature we get, stability and the performance check, battery and the bugs in the ROM. Finally, I will give my final verdict. So watch the video till then. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. I was using the Siberia OS from the last few days. So to install this ROM, download the ROM zip file. ROM file do not come with the gapps inbuilt so we need to download the gap zip separately. You can use any full gapps or the core gapps package. In the video description I have given only core nick gapps package which has only basic applications. Now remove all the pins and the password. Boot your phone in a TWRP, TWRP 3.6 is recommended. Now first flash the ROM zip file then go to the advanced and then tap the flash current TWRP. Now reboot back to the TWRP and flash gapps. Now go to the wipe, tap format, type yes and done. Reboot to the system. So finally my device booted to the signature boot animation of Lineage OS which I am seeing after a long time. New Lineage OS setup we found here. After completing the setup let's jump to the about phone. So here we guess the android version as android 12 but it's actually 12.1 or also called as 12L. Who guess the old Android 12 material you clock Easter egg. This is the nightly build of Lineage OS 19 with their own Easter egg, which looks cool. Android security patch is of 5th April 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.227. This ROM was builded on 26th April 2022. So here we guess the all the latest update for new ROM. ROM comes with the Quickstep launcher. If you goes to the app drawer, who guess the new app icons for the all the applications. We get some new apps like the audio effects equalizer. We all knows about the audio effects. It has option to improve your sound quality of the device. ROM has its own recorder application with the material you look. ROM has new music application. If you go to its setting, we get its own music visualizer in the setting. Blur setting and the Unix Shake 2 Plus setting. By using that, we can skip the tracks by checking your phone. Let's take a look of the customization that this ROM offers. Though ROM is pure vanilla, it has lots of the customizations. If you go to the display setting, we guess the display music visualizer and the media cover art. And surprisingly, both are working because I have reviewed all the Android 12 ROMs and they are missing one of both every time. In the ambient display, we guess the always on display and it's working good without the issue. We guess the icon shape settings so we can change the different shapes of the icons like the pebble, teardrop, square, etc. ROM has the live display setting, here we guess the color profile like the sRGB, DCPI3 and the white color gamut. Display mode has the high brightness mode which has really good brightness so screen can be visible in a direct sunlight. We get anti filter type to avoid the flickering of the screen and the eye strain. Reading mode, color calibration, picture adjustment, these settings are available in the live display. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen and the status bar along with the double tap to wake on the lock screen are available and both are working seamlessly. Rotation setting as the rotate screen and the different degrees of rotations like the 0, 90, 180 and 270 degrees. Wallpaper and style app is available but sadly we didn't get the pixel wallpaper and no theme icon settings because ROM has quick step launcher instead of pixel launcher but you can use any magic module to enable this. Monet theming of Android 12 is working well with the accurate color detection of wallpapers. Nightlight feature is available with the scheduling and the intensity slider to increase or decrease the intensity. In the accessibility, we get the extra dim toggle to reduce the screen brightness further. Vibration and haptic setting is available to disable or enable the vibration for the ring, notification and touch. 
system navigation one and red mode also available under the system and under the gesture setting of the rom one and red mode has the pull screen to reach and the notification so we can use it as per our suitability in the system setting we get the button tab in that we get the power menu setting by using that we can add bunch of the new option in a power menu and can also add the advanced restart volume button long press to skip the music track is available and it's working flawlessly as it's not working in a most of the android 12 roms settings for the volume panel on the left is available which is good feature to reach the volume panel easily in the additional button we can add some new activities for the alert slider for the top middle and bottom position click to take partial screenshot toggle using the volume down and power button is available device gesture is a feature to use the gestures on the aod screen is working but sometimes it's buggy here i use it to enable and disable the flashlight of the device quickly open camera by double pressing the power button and the long press power button to access the google assistant both are available in the rom but quick tap back gesture setting not found here rom comes with the inbuilt ot updater in the system setting in the preferences option we get the different option to set up ota but the update recovery can't be disabled so remember if you use the ota to update the rom you may lose your twrp recovery call recording feature is available in the rom but after recording we didn't get the recorded calls in the call history you need to go to the file manager in that we get the call recording folder here all the call recording get stored but remember after first installation of the rom set the phone application as the default app in the default app setting of the device I tested all the important activities like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, both are working. Bluetooth connection are working with the HD sound. If your device supports, we can switch between the SPC, ACC, LDAC and APTX sound codecs. No bugs of the system we are start were found in a landscape mode after using the volume panel. Volume in a speaker is enough loud. NFC is working. GPS location is working and its detection also very fast. Alert slider is working very good. Now let's see the camera. ROM has a simple camera application. So I downloaded the OnePlus camera but most of the things are crashing here. Like the portrait shots, slow motion video recording, no 4K 60fps, panorama mode is also causing force close. So I installed the stable Google MGC build. Here all the things are work but when I took the portrait shot, they didn't have any background blur effect similar case was found for the slow motion it takes the video but there will be no slow motion effect in the video except these all the features are working and the quality of pictures and the videos are also very good rom has all android 12 l features like the quick setting panel advanced setting option for the network screen recording screen cast styles etc double tap middle bar to switch the applications up and down in a recent panel split screen is working double line clock in a display and under the lock screen setting is also working as the rom comes with the quick step launcher we didn't get the quick switch for the last five use wallpaper and at a glance quick shortcuts for the weather and the calendar let's do some stability and the performance test now overall rom is very smooth no lags nothing else so i done the geekbench test and i got the score of 495 for the single core and 1974 for the multi core which is a decent score i didn't got any cpu temperature rise while doing the day to day task as an safety net check for the cts profile got failed which is surprising though the rom has enforcing kernel so you may face some issues for the using security related banking applications wide one is still on l3 so no more hd content for the netflix and amazon prime videos all the sensor tests got pass here like gyroscope proximity light magnetometer etc rom did not comes with the unlimited photo backup for the google photo application let's check the bugs in the rom main bug is i didn't got the incoming call display notification i just able to hear the ring tones but somehow it work again after adding the two sims in the phone and setting up the phone as the default application I can't say this is the bug or not but some people mentioned this at a XD site. Okay Google detection or its setting is not working. It's saying this feature is currently unavailable. But you can use magic module to enable this and the pixel launcher by watching the right side card video. All the camera bugs I discussed already. You can use the time blend to check them back again. Except this I can't find any bug. If you get any other bugs please mention in the comment section.
Battery life is not yet tested. I will mention that in a comment section with the pin message after two days of battery cycles. So overall ROM is pretty solid. It's smooth, performing well. Battery life is also looking good as per the current uses. In case of the bugs, they may be deal breaking like the safety net fail, incoming calls issue. To fix them, you need one more build. They will fix all these issues. So that's it guys for today. If you like my work, please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.